After a well-deserved rest, the first night at Klentalferbach was peaceful, and there is nothing like the smell of someone rekindling the fire for that first cup of coffee in the morning. It was a lazy start, and everyone started emerging from their tents to sit and chat about ideas and plans they thought of through the night and to enjoy the first cuppa. Early mornings around the campfire are always the best, chatting as you dunk your Oma Rusk into your coffee. It was not long before we headed out the same way we came in. The same corner, the same car, the same driver. Do we see a pattern developing here? Today we are headed out to Friedendorf for the opening of yet another new distributor of 4x4 megawatt products in this area. But first things first, time to reinflate those deflated tyres before we hit the tar road. Our next stop would be the quaint town of St Helena. As the saying goes, no army marches on an empty stomach. You couldn't wish for a better view while enjoying your meal. From St. Helena Bay, we follow the service road next to the Sishin Saldana railway line. With the flower season in full swing, the scenery offers some of the most spectacular views. We eventually reach the turn off to Friedendal and once again we are back on the tar roads. We soon reach our destination. Exhaust Doctor in Friedendal is one of the newest distributors of 4x4 megawatt products in this area and we wish them all the best. Whilst everyone is enjoying the local cuisine, some of us are trying to plot our way forward to see how far up the coastline we will be able to travel before having to set up our wild camp for the night. However, what you hope for and what is possible are two totally different things. After all the formalities and refueling of these beasts, it was time to head toward Kukunap, passing under this majestic bridge for the trench to Saldana. With the ever-present wind, it's logical that you would find the wind turbines of independent power producers all around here.
At last we entered the coastal belt where we would follow some of the twin tracks all along the edge of the ocean until we find a suitable spot for our overnight wild camp. It's very clear to see why people fall in love with this part of South Africa. Miles and miles of unspoiled beauty. you. Mining in this pristine area on the beaches, but heaven forbid you drive on the beach. Grand Sabai used to be a paradise in the middle of nowhere. Now you have a massive mining operation across the road as your neighbor. Not camping here, thank you. Finally, it looks like we found our spot for the evening. We slowly start making our way down to the campsite set on a dune overlooking a scenic little bay. Space is tight, so we all have to squeeze in. The guys get busy setting up the tents and settling in, and of course enjoying a cold one. This is as close as you get to paradise. Just imagine waking up to all of this tomorrow morning.
As the cool evening ocean breeze sets in, it was time to get the bush TV going and dinner prepared. Master Chef Dion Fenter was in charge of dinner tonight. As the day drew to a close, it was time to settle in and fall asleep with the sound of waves all night. Tomorrow would see us travel up north to Grunrefirmont and then turn inland toward the Sielberg. Join us soon for the next episode of our Western Cape adventure.